how, how does it feel odd to have time off, but it's not officially the bye week? Because you guys are always in such a grind and in such a rhythm throughout the season. Yeah, like it's kind of like you play a game and you're always getting ready for next. You go to bed and it feels like it's game day right away. Uh, and now you kind of get to really, like I said, take a mental break, uh, think about something else and, and just enjoy some, some days off. And uh, yeah, now get some good practice in, which you don't get too much of either. And yeah, but now I feel like you're turning the page and get, get ready for Wednesday. The penalty kill has been pretty good. It, I think it was 20 straight before the Jets got that goal, and then you killed off those two big ones late in the second period. You're a big part of the PK. What do you think is why it's been so successful lately? Uh, I don't know why exactly at the timing, but I think you always go through stretches uh, during the year where you're, you're co like confidence is a big big thing in the penalty kill, both from the goalie and the players. Uh, you're just confident in what you can give up and you know where you're, where you're going to get the saves from. And then you'll also go through slides where it feels like whatever you do, the puck ends up in the in the back of your net. And we're kind of on one of those confident hot streaks right now. And uh, I think to keep that going, you really got to bear down on the details. Sometimes they'll slip because you you rely on the goaltending or whatever. Uh, but yeah, like like... You said we got scored on last game, so now we got to get back to, to the details and, and look what we can do better. So what makes a good penalty kill in your mind? I mean, you're, you're pretty good at it. What would you tell people is the, the secret to being good on the PK uh, as a forward? I don't know. I think every team approaches differently, but I think if you can, if you can disrupt their entries, uh, that's a big thing. If you can get on the puck right away that way, uh, that helps because then they can't set up. And, and I mean, if... Any team in this league, if they can set up and have time, there's so good, such good players on the power play. Uh, so that's a big thing. And then just try to take time and space away, I guess. And and at the end of the day, you got to give give up some shots, and, and uh, the goaltender has to be there to to bail you out. Were you always like a good penalty killer, like even when you were younger before the NHL, or did you have to learn that skill as you became? Uh, I think for sure, like now I, I learned for sure throughout. Uh, but I think I've always been a two-way player. Uh, always played on the penalty kill uh, back in Sweden. Probably my first year I didn't play too much. Second year I was playing both, and then kind of uh, as the years wore on, I, I think it's been more uh, a clear role on the penalty kill. So I mean, it's something that you can really, really hang on to, and, and something uh, that I take pride in now for sure. It's a way to get ice time, right? If you're on a yeah. team with a strong top six. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the same way. Uh, I think like when our power play steps on the ice, like I'm sitting on the bench and I'm thinking, like I'm thinking we're gonna score or at least like it, we're gonna create like a lot of momentum, a lot of chances. And uh, when you have a hot penalty kill like we've had lately, I feel like okay, maybe. You're having a bad stretch in the game, and you end up taking a penalty, and then that's kind of like stops that that uh, bad stretch, and then you go out and you have a good kill, and then that carries over to the it kind of breaks breaks up the play a little, uh, and that's the same way. If you have a leaky penalty kill, then that will kill your momentum every time you you take a penalty. So it, it works both ways for sure. Can you almost see that as an opportunity if someone you know does take a penalty? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, you never want to be short-handed, but I think good teams always always do that. They they gain momentum, and I think individual players, like for myself, when if I'm having a pretty uh, dull game and, and I can get out on the penalty kill and have a good shift, that can turn the game around, and I think that goes into the team team play a little bit too. How close were you on that breakaway shot against Helmick? Ah, uh, not too close. The puck was rolling, uh, rolling the whole way, so I was just kind of trying to get a shot away, so I couldn't really get it to settle, uh, but have him next time.